Hello everybody, welcome back. This is slide 13. We're focusing on lysosomes. This is an organelle that is a single membrane organelle. Uh, it's kind of like a sac, if you will. Um, these are formed by vesicles or sacs from the Golgi body. And these lysosome vesicles, these sacs float in the cytoplasm until they're needed. They contain over 50 different digestive enzymes, so they're often known as the stomach of the uh, cell, also known as suicide bags. They digest bacteria, viruses, and toxins. They're called suicide bags because they degrade worn out or non-functional old cells. In other words, they can lyse or burst open these lysosomes, vomiting basically all these powerful digestive enzymes into an old cell, which will kill it. And uh, they do other things. You can see there the next bullet point, perform glycogen breakdown and release, provide non-useful tissues such as webs between they break down non-useful tissues. When you're in your mother's womb, you actually have webs between your fingers and toes to help you swim in the amniotic fluid. But that wouldn't be very useful as an adult. So those are dissolved by the lysosomes in the fingers and toes before you're born. There's also a role in bone healing and remodeling. It can break down and release calcium. In the next slide, we're looking at a cell part called the peroxisomes. These are also vesicle-like sacs that contain powerful enzymes, and they form an interesting byproduct known as hydrogen peroxide. And yes, we're talking about the same hydrogen peroxide that can be found in some of your medicine cabinets. Basically, hydrogen peroxide is molecular oxygen, O2. It helps to detoxify harmful alcohols, formaldehydes, and it can neutralize dangerous free radicals, which are unstable chemicals that we sometimes consume from burnt Things like burnt toast, burnt bacon, charred meat that can lead to cellular mutations. In slide 15, we look at the cytoskeleton, and that's a skeleton inside of a cell. No, it's not bones, but it is a network of basically protein fibers, and this helps to give shape and stabilize the cell, provides a little scaffolding, if you will. There's also a role in uh, mitosis and the cell cycle. There are structures called centrioles that you're seeing here on the screen that show up only when the cell is getting ready to grow and divide. Also during mitosis, um, cytoskeleton has a role in segregating chromosomes during cellular division and is also involved in cytokinesis, which is the division of a body cell into two daughter cells. The next slide 16 deals with cilia and flagella, which are pieces that stick out of a cell basically. And here's cilia, it's hair-like, short, waving structures. And these can wave product along like mucus and things like that in the trachea, for example. And flagella, and can you tell what kind of cells these are when you look at that? Does anybody know? If you said sperm, you're right. And these long tails that you're seeing, they're whip, and they help to move that um, cell along. So you also may have seen on your cell diagram at the beginning of the chapter, I think it was slide five, and you studied microvilli. There are also small little cellular extensions that stick out and move on the cell, help with motility. In the next slide, we're looking at uh, slide 17 and 18. I'd like you to work with these questions and these questions here and see if you can answer them. And that concludes part one of chapter three.